Hello and welcome back to Xbox On. It's always a good time to upgrade your gaming rig, whether that's a pre-built gaming laptop like the slim but powerful Asus ROG devices we've been using lately over on our Twitch streams, or a new graphics card for your desktop. Shiny new hardware like that allows you to juice up the graphics of your existing favourites and lets you take advantage of some newer additions to the Xbox Game Pass library. Many of these games like Sea of Thieves, No Man's Sky and Five Nights at Freddy's are prime picks for live streaming to your friends or for recording Let's Plays for YouTube. And seeing as how Among Us is now available for PC and Ultimate subscribers, we figured it's as good a time as any to show you how to get set up to use Xbox Game Bar to control your streams and recordings. Unless you've been living under a very cosy rock for a few months, you've probably heard of all the changes that have made their way to Xbox Game Bar, helping to increase its functionality and make it a vital tool for PC gamers out there. This happens way back in the May 2019 Windows 10 update, so first step is making sure you're at least running that version of the operating system, so not XP or Vista for you old schoolers. And if you're not fully updated, well, hit that update right now. Don't worry, we'll wait. Uh, in the meantime, let's chat about what Game Bar is, how you can access it, and why we've been using it so much lately. Game Bar is an overlay to Windows that allows access to a deeply customizable array of widgets. Some of these tap into your system information to show important data such as your CPU and GPU utilization, available memory, and even how taxing resources can be on your system. Not only that, but Game Bar has full integration with Xbox Live, meaning you can see your friends list, send messages and invites, and even track achievements and search looking for group posts. Basically, anything you can think of that you could do on your console is right here and but a simple Windows shortcut away. Just hit the Windows key and G at the same time to pull up the Game Bar overlay. When you've gotten nice and familiar with the default setup, you can start diving into the custom additions from the widget store. There's a ton on offer, some of which offer advanced functionality for your peripherals such as Razer Cortex, while others enable deep integration with your favourite games like the Ghost Companion widget for Destiny 2. To grab these, just head to the widget menu, which looks like four horizontal lines, scroll to the bottom and click the widget store beta. Here you can browse for new widgets or manage the ones that you have installed. The one that we're concerned with here is the XSplit Game Bar HUD widget, which will let you control your streams and recordings right from Xbox Game Bar. Get that downloaded and fired up, and you'll probably be prompted to make sure that you've launched XSplit Gamecaster or XSplit PTR first. Take the time to get those installed and set up with all your scenes, overlays, gameplay sources and cameras if you've got them, and be sure to link your streaming platform of choice. Now, whenever you have XSplit open and ready and you hit Windows plus G, you'll see a full dashboard of tweakable options to control your streams and recordings with. Now comes the really handy part. There are a bunch of toggles on the dashboard widget, as well as a preview of the currently active scene, so you can see exactly what your stream audience will be watching at that time. Underneath that is a snapshot of your extra scenes if you've perhaps made a starting soon, ending, or just chatting scene. You can click on these to swap to the scene of your choice, which is incredibly handy for folks who don't have a second monitor or a dedicated macro for scene swapping on their keyboard or other input devices. As for those toggles, flicking each one will bring up a new overlay window that you can reposition and tweak to suit your needs. First up is the Stream Recording Status Overlay, which gives you real-time information on how long your stream or recording has lasted and how many live viewers you have at any given moment. Next up is Stream Chat, which is pretty self-explanatory, but it's definitely worth taking some time to resize it so it doesn't take up too much of your HUD elements in-game. You can even change the opacity, text size, and whether the overlay fades after a certain time. Just hit Stream Chat options and adjust to your heart's content. Third in the list is Stream Embed, quite literally a view of your stream via an embedded video. This can be used to give you a quick view of how well your stream quality is holding up on your viewer's end. Worth bearing in mind though that this can impact your internet speed, so we'd recommend for most users not to utilize this while you're live. Stream Events is just under that and will give you a rundown of any follows, hosts, raids or otherwise that come your way whilst live. And finally, the Audio Widget, which allows you to check the balance between your microphone's levels and the rest of your scene's audio. You can even mute either of them independently on the fly, should you need to. 
So now that you've set your widgets up, your scenes are looking sharp in XSplit and your streaming platform or recording settings are primed, there's literally just one thing left to do. Hit the button. We probably don't need to explain it, but you've got two large blue buttons to select here, stream and record. Very fancy. If at any time you need to tweak something, move an overlay or swap scenes, just remember that it's all a simple Windows plus G away. Now, if you'll excuse us, we've got some imposters to suss out of our own. Thanks for watching this video, and if you found it handy, make sure to smash like and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any other Windows PC tips and tricks on our channel. We've also got plenty of great videos on PC games to look forward to, as well as Game Pass updates, so take a spin around the rest of our playlists. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!